comes the blitz. And they got there. Steve Tate. On the football field, former Ute defensive back Steve Tate was ready for anything. Yeah, here's Tate right here coming right up the middle. When they told us we had triplets, I've never had a panic attack in my life. And I handle stress, you know, playing football. I've learned to handle stress well. An ultrasound showed their family of five would be a family of eight. And I... I panicked. You know, I went full on panic attack. Last December, the triplets had ear infections. Hayes got progressively worse. He napped constantly and was lethargic. He just laid there, didn't even try and lift his head. It was like heartbreaking to see. I took a picture because I was like, this is not normal. They took him to the ER and doctors did tests and took scans. Well, we have an answer and I broke down. I knew if you have an answer from a CAT scan, that's not good. It revealed a malignant tumor the size of a lemon. I held him and I remember I couldn't even look at the screen and I thought, I just want to run away with him. I just want to run away this, I just want this to go away. When they, when they pulled up the picture, I think that was... Um, Frightening. It was, it was horrifying. <laughs> A surgeon removed the tumor, but some of the cancer remains on his spinal cord. Hayes is starting round two of six rounds of aggressive chemotherapy that will be followed up by a bone marrow transplant, all to help give him a fighting chance. You're probably talking between 40 to 55 percent. Survival. Survival, yeah. This is the tumor. So this is a profile picture, if you will. Dr. Carol Bruggers specializes in pediatric brain tumors. They don't know what caused Hayes' cancer. It's exceedingly rare. They avoid using radiation on patients this small because of its long-term side effects. Yeah, you're okay. And hope is a vital part of his recovery. I think the take from that is, is that there's great promise. There's great promise here. I mean, you have triplets and you just envision best buddies all the way through life. and. Um, you know, I had so many plans for for them. I I still want those things. I still have hope that he's going to be OK. This will just be one of those things we look back on and wonder how did we get through it, but we got through it. They are living this nightmare one day at a time, and so there's no place they'd rather be than by his side. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. We wish baby Hayes the best. He'll likely be in the hospital until Wednesday while doctors work to get his white blood count cells up.